Maggie, that's just a new puppy. You can see him. Yeah, visit him. Say hi. He's just a little baby, Maggie. He's just a little baby. Are you mad that Feather's here? Because she's a big girl? Carter's second birthday is getting close. What month is it? August? Carter's gonna be two in November. Some of y'all might not think that's close, but I've already started planning a party. So why not get her a birthday present? <gasps> Punk! Hey guys, bring in here on Morrow Hill. Some of you guys seem to think that I've got my plate too full. And that's fine. I'm not bashing anyone. Y'all are entitled to your own opinions, of course. You might have seen my little friend in the background. And you may can tell by my face, I am just over the moon. Look what I did. Punk. Hi, Punk. Hi, my man. Hi. Punk, come here. We got to introduce... Punk! Punk, come here. Punk! He sees those guineas back there. You can't be a guinea chaser, Punk. Can't do it. Anyways, Carter's second birthday is getting close. What month is it? August? Carter's going to be two in November. Some of y'all might not think that's close, but... I've already started planning a party. So why not get her a birthday present? <gasps> Punk, are you gonna play with the kitty? That kitty don't look like she wants to play with you. I don't think that kitty wants to play. Get her, Punk. Get her, you can play with her. Oh, you're such a good boy. You're such a good boy. I made a very brave adventure this morning going to the vet. Carter named him, guys. Carter named him Punk. I said, Carter, what do you want to name your new puppy? Oh, there he goes. She said Punk, which is a word that I didn't even know that she knew, but Punk it is. I know it's a little silly, but I think that speaks volumes about her personality. She's going to call her dog. Come here, Punk. It sounds so funny, don't it? Get her, punk. Get her, punk. He just wants to play so bad. Punk, come here. Come here, punk. He doesn't know his name great yet. We just got him yesterday. We've had him one day. And in that one day, he is almost completely potty trained. He, the only thing he has trouble, he, he will let me know he needs to go outside. He just has a little trouble making it there in time. But he is only 10 weeks old. So, um, I don't know how much his previous owners worked on that with him. But we're getting there. Come on, punk. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Anyways, I was saying, punk, I'm trying to introduce you. And you just want to play with everyone else. I was saying I made a very brave adventure this morning. And took him to the vet by myself. Because Laramie was busy today. Uh, playing in another ragball tournament. I took him and both of the kids to the vet by myself. I had a hard time getting both of the kids in there, and he's not very good on a leash, so I kind of had to just drag him behind me. And I only had a pink leash, Feather's leash. I had to put that on him, so everyone kept saying, oh, she's so cute, but he's a boy. He's a little boy. I love him. Um, and then anyways, I felt really accomplished. I felt really good about myself after I left the vet with two kids and a dog. So I thought, you know, let's go to PetSmart. He needs some new toys. He needs his own collar. He needs his own leash. So we made the journey into PetSmart this morning. He's still exploring and getting familiar with everything. But Carter loves him. I love him. He immediately took to Carter. Loves Carter so much. Lets her crawl all over him and play with him. Never moves a muscle. Um, he'll eventually get up and start licking her all over the face and having fun with her. So I'm really excited that she has a little, a little baby of her own now because Feather's not 
uh, a big fan of her. Feather's not really sweet to her. But since Punk is not very good on a leash, we're going to get to work already. Can't have a dog that's not good on a leash. I cannot have a dog who's not trained. Feather is actually trained very well. Um, she's just not with Carter. So um, hopefully with Punk growing up with Carter, he'll be very tolerant of her for a very long time as he is right now. So we're going to get to work on leash training. Punk, you want to come with me? Come on, Punk. Yeah, there you go, happy boy. So to start out, I know already that the leash makes him very uncomfortable because of the way he just locked up on me this morning and I had to drag him. So before I try to lead him around or make him follow commands on it, I'm just going to let him get used to just this. Why are you scratching? Mommy, uh, his flea pill's probably not working yet. I gave him a flea pill though, so it should be working anytime now. Come on, punk. Don't scratch, punk. You don't want to get, uh, punk, you gotta at least get up and try it. I'm gonna let him walk me around for a while. Go wherever he wants to go and just get used to. Oh, there you go, buddy. Just let him get used to it being here, which it looks like he's going pretty well already. So, come on, punk, you wanna come with me? Come on, punk. Yeah, there we go, that's how we're gonna do it. It's okay, it's just a leash, okay? Okay? Just a leash. Is this a game to you? I just stopped and checked punk for any live fleas because he's still itchy. I don't see any live fleas on him. I'll go through him with the flea comb when we get inside too. But maybe he's still just a little itchy where they bit you earlier, huh? Just a little itchy? Come on, I hear Uncle Jake over there. Let's go. Come on, I hear him. He gets up and gets real playful on this leash and then just stops. Doesn't do it anymore. What's the matter? He did get shots today, so his little legs are a little sore. The front one and a back one. He's doing so good. There we go. Oh, I'll come with you. I'll come with you. It's okay. You can turn around and walk like a normal doggy. You can turn around and walk like a normal doggy, punk. We'll just get used to it. It's okay. On your time, buddy. Carter is asleep right now, but I have some clips of her and punk that I'll add into this video for you guys to see how much she loves him. But for now... Punk and me are gonna go plug up this golf cart. And then we're gonna walk down to Uncle Lester's and introduce him to a couple of animals. Punk, by the way, I don't know if I said this, is a golden retriever. <laughs> he won't walk with me holding it, but he'll just run behind me dragging it. Come on, Punk! <laughs> I am not sure. What's going on here? <laughs> what a weirdo. Punk, what is he doing? <laughs> I didn't get you spinning circles over there. You missed all just, of that? Just, just. You missed all of that? Yeah. I didn't know what you were doing. <laughs> I saw you coming in the corner of my eyes. I'm like, I'm going to be just be doing something really stupid. Uh, I was leaning over like I was dead. I didn't think you knew I was here, and I was like, should I check on him? <laughs> Hi, it's a new puppy. Yeah, Carter named I him. Heard they drove a long way to get you. Carter named him Punk. Oh, Mr. Punk. Mr. Punk. Little boy, Mr. Punk. Yeah. Mr. Punk. He's a little Mr. sore Oak. right now because he got Mr. shot. Boys and Oak. Oh my Ivy. gosh. That's what I've discovered at Longhorn Lester's. Oh. Your other dog follows you over here. Hey, How did you get out again? Mr. Punk, why did you go over there? What's wrong with you, Mr. Punk? He went to the vet and got another round of shots today, so. He's pretty spunky still, hey. but. Hey, dear. What kind of dog is this? A golden retriever. Oh, he, he's soft. He's a soft little yeah. guy. He's big too. He's only 10 weeks old. Really? He's, gonna he's, he's big. Hey, you. Hey, I'm Uncle Wetter. I'm Uncle Wetter. I'm the guy who plays on the lawnmower. We brought him home and he immediately took to Carter. 
that's good. immediately. Which he is her birthday present, so. Oh, okay, so that's good then. I was gonna go introduce him to some of our, some of the feathered friends. Start teaching them that a lot can't of, chase. A lot and, of times you may find out that male uh, dogs will Got yourself bond. a new horse? Huh? Got a new horse? Know, right? <laughs> a lot of times males will bond with female owners, humans, and a lot of times females will bond with male humans. Les, you're just gonna have to mow over that. I am. <laughs> So you may just have discovered that. I don't know if that's something you know or not, but a lot of your viewers may realize that a lot of times. It's like, for example, yeah. uh, Gigi wanted the Doberman. Yeah. My dad goes off and gets Gigi, this beautiful Doberman, Heidi, delivers Heidi to Gigi, and Heidi wants nothing yep. to do with my mom Pop's at all. Yeah, best friend. Uh, instead, Heidi only wants to spend my time with my dad, and that's kind of how it goes. Laramie so, gets mad because all of our animals love me better. No, and there's some people that just have a, uh, a your animals can, you know, they pick you, they, they can see you and yeah. choose their human. Which, I'm at home with them all day, every day, so. That makes a big difference out, so. We're trying to get used to a leash over here, but so far he'll only drag it around. He won't walk on it. No, that's good, Come on, punk. Come on, punk. Come on, punk. Now we got Feather joining us, too. Pumpkin Feather. Pumpkin Feather, come on. Come on. Go, go Punk, follow Feather. You getting used to that? Oh, are you tangled? You're okay, you got it. Come on. Maggie, that's just a new puppy. You can see him. Yeah, visit him, say hi. He's just a little baby, Maggie. He's just a little baby. Are you mad that Feather's here? Cause she's a big girl? Huh? You're mad that she's down here and she's a big, it's okay, Maggie. She's just a big girl, she's your friend. She's still your friend, Maggie. She's just a big girl. It's okay. We'll go home if you're mad that we're here, we'll go. You wanna say hi to that punk? She just don't like Feather. <laughs> Punk, it's okay. See, Maggie. Don't get stuck on that with your leash. Do not get in there and, like, break your foot or something. I've had you one day. We can't have that. Come on. We're trying to go explore and show you everything. Come on. Come on. Follow Feather. Bye, Mags. Bye, Mags. Jamie's making a video. I didn't want to <laughs> interrupt too much. But she saw some of the geese. She didn't try to chase. She hasn't tried to chase skinnies. So I think that's a good sign. I know she's he, 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 he. I've only ever had girl dogs. He is just a little puppy. So we'll keep introducing. Okay, let me help you. Let me help you. We'll keep introducing him as he gets older. I mean, he's going to be around it every day. Come on. Can you walk with me now? <gasps> Good boy. Come on. Keep walking. Come on. Come on, punk. Let's keep walking, punk. I know this is so new to you. You didn't have to wear a leash before, huh? But that's okay. We can walk on it and be a big puppy. And be a grown-up. Come on. Oh, that's wonderful, Punk. Feather walks real good on a leash. I don't know how she got out of that yard. We've been having to patch holes and everything. They've been back there because they kept tearing that fence up again. I don't know how they're digging under it. So, Feather just climbed through the top of the gate. There's that. Good news, guys. Punk is not a goose chaser because he saw a goose. I think he is frightened because he would not take another step once he saw that goose. Come on, punk. Come on, punk. Come on, punk. He don't want to go by the goose. Punk, it's just a goose. He's not, he might attack you, but it won't bother you. Come on, punk. There we go, punk. Good boy. Look, that goose is going away. Walk away, goose. Don't get my puppy. This little guy's just attached at my hip. He's coming with me to 
pick Carter up from his. Come on. Come on. Come on, little guy. You coming? You coming? Run. Hey, run home. Run. 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 Bye. Bye. I'm coming too. Run so Punk will get you. Oh, he's going to beat you home. You better go. He's going to beat you home. You better run fast. No. Do you love punk? Yeah. Yeah? yeah. Punk. Punk, you got to come this way up the stairs, baby. Go up the stairs, punk. You picked the little, littlest spot. Come around. Come on. Big girl. A uh, punk. No. Good job. No. 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 Tell him come inside, punk. I. Say come I. inside. Come on, you have to come inside so he'll follow you. Go inside. Stay, we did something today. Come here, punk. Carter. Call punk. <laughs> oh, he got you. Give him his duck. Give him his duck. That's his duck. That's punk's toy. Okay, go ahead. You have to tell him. Come on, punk. Are you going to Gigi's? Wait, wait for a minute. There's a truck coming, we have to wait. I'm just in here, I was trying to put the baby to sleep. He won't quit laughing at me. Quit laughing at me. You're supposed to be going night night. D no. Mm -mm. Your budget go not night. Anyways, I think that Laramie's not allowed to sleep with me tonight because Punk has his duck and his blankie, and he just made himself a he just made himself at home on Laramie's pillow. So I told Laramie, you know. If he's sleeping good like this when Laramie comes in here, he better not move him. Because this is Punk's house too. And Punk has to make himself comfortable. It's his first night here. I think he likes it. Papa.